How you doing? Mike Aldrich, Director of Player Development here at Bluegrass, uh, certified professional, certified PGA professional in player development. And I'm excited. Today is a really exciting day uh, in every golf pro's life. This is the day that my clubs have come together for the year. I've got my bag put together and I just want to go through real quick what I have in the bag this year. I'm excited to be rejoining the Callaway uh, staff after a short hiatus away. Uh, I did spend 12 years previously on Callaway staff and I'm super excited to be back. So first of all, uh, the putter. Let's start from the, the hole and work our way back. I've got the um, OG White Hot, which they've gone back. The OG refers to probably not my personality, not original gangster here, but they've gone back to the original White Hot, which I'm really excited about. It's a great surface uh, for the face and I've already used it over on our practice screen and it's been unbelievable. I made a ridiculous amount of putts with it. I'm not trying to sell you a putter, I'm just telling you the truth. Uh, I got a face balanced uh, putter and I made a lot of putts, way too many. Um, I'm not gonna say I made everything, but I made a lot of putts with it already. So I'm excited to take it out of the course in a competitive round. Next, we have my wedges. Uh, in this, I've chosen the Jaws wedges. Um, I have a 50 degree and a 56. I went with the high bounce option with both of them. So we have a 12 degrees of bounce on both of them. The reason is I use, I like to use both of my wedges around the green inside of 50 yards. I really mix it up a lot. And as you know, our Bermuda, our Bermuda fairways tend to be a little tricky. Um, so having a, a, a bigger sole, a wider sole and a little more bounce allows that club to slide along in case I don't clip the ball just perfectly. It also allows me to make an aggressive move downward in the bunkers to make sure that I catch enough sand. As you know, sometimes we have really soft sand and sometimes it's firm. That's okay, it's, a, it's supposed to be a hazard area, so it's supposed to be difficult, um, but, but it does allow me to make a more aggressive move and get more consistent results. Then we go with the fourth pitching wedge in the X-Forged cavity back. So the X-Forged cavity back basically looks like, a, looks like a blade from above. So let me give you the above view. Um, it's a very clean looking, very little offset. I really like to work the ball as much as possible. For those who have played with me, you know I, I work it both both ways. I hit draws and fades uh, on demand. Not always the exact right amount, of course. But um, I really like this club because it is workable. But the, the, the cavity back, which is not huge on this, also allows for some playability. By the way, I'm going through my clubs. That doesn't mean that this is what you should play. I just wanted to let you know what I got in my bag. Um, but we're, we have several fitting days set up so that we can put, put that together and we also have our own fitting cart. They've also added a tungsten weighting system in here that's optimized for each iron. So you don't have the same amount of weight in each one of these clubs. And they've really integrated some AI into the development of all these clubs to make sure that they're optimizing it. Not just on the irons, but on all of them, including my Maverick Hybrid. So I have the Maverick Pro 3, um, which kind of is my 215 to 220 club um, when I catch it. Um, again, we have the jailbreak technology uh, in this, uh, which uh, allows you to make a really thin face that rebounds, but also provides some stability and keeps that ball going, uh, keeps all the energy going in a forward direction. We're going to go on to the three wood, which in this I have the Epic Speed. I'm looking for the maximum distance and the maximum club head speed I can get. Um, I have a, both a three and a five wood, and the reason I carry both woods is because I like to get as close as I can to par fives. Um, probably my, the weakest part of my game is, is ending up somewhere in the 40 to 60 yard range. So I'm trying to get it up inside of 40 yards whenever possible. And you know, some of our par fives can be challenging to do that with. So the three wood allows me when I have a, almost a perfect lie, either in the fairway or the first cut, but when I have an imperfect lie, the five wood really helps me and is nearly as long as the three, but allows me a little more adaptability with different types of lies. So I like to carry the two, two woods in my bag. And then finally, and of course the most exciting club, um, for those of you that know, I love putting and I love driving and the in-between can sometimes be uh, not quite as up to par with, with the rest of my game, um, with the driver and the putter. But I've gotten the Epic Max LS, which also has jailbreak technology. Uh, they've improved from their jailbreak technology, which basically was two bars originally. And now they have a web that they've used AI, artificial intelligence, to optimize so that no matter where you hit on the club face, they've optimized both, the, both how thick or how thin the club face is and also how they form that web to provide support for that extremely thin and fast club face. 
Now I've got the, the Epic Max LS, there's also an Epic Max, and there's the Epic Speed. And the Epic Speed is the most stable with a slight draw bias, and the Epic Max also a little more of a draw bias than this, but uh, the most stable head in their lineup. So if you wanna learn more about the Callaway uh, line of products this year, please just grab me in the, grab me when you're seeing me on the tee or in the pro shop, please not in the middle of the lesson, but, but in between lessons, grab me or sign up for one of our fitting days. Uh, we've sent out some links already for those. We have limited spots remaining, but we'd love to get you into a great set of Callaway clubs. Get out there, play golf, have a great time, and maybe even make a new friend.